Hey guys, what's up? Cool, right? Let's try that again. It still looks a bit awkward because it's still in the testing phase, but there's a chance that we'll see something different at the start of each game soon. Anyway, one of the heroes who got a major skill adjustment from the last patch is Kaja, and I plan to test him out in this game. Kaja is one of the unpopular heroes who is barely used now, and if there's a rare chance that he's picked, he's mostly used as a tank or a rune. So with this update, the developers wanted Kaja to be used more as a fighter. His HP growth per level is increased by 20 points. He'll be a bit sustainable compared before. Kaja's first skill is nerfed because it no longer reduces the cooldown of his passive skill. But to make up for that, his passive skill now has a new effect where each damage dealt will reduce his passive's cooldown. So he now gets CD reduction both from his skills and basic attacks. Next is his ultimate nerf, where it no longer steals the target's magic defense. But to make up for that loss, his second skill is changed. It now deals AoE damage while all the nearby enemies will have their magic defense stolen. And they also remove the lightning balls that he leaves behind. Take note that the AoE range of his second skill is the same as his basic attacks. Lastly, his basic attacks now deal magic damage instead of physical. So that's basically Kaja's buff in the latest patch at Advanced Server. I'm currently leaning with Flower Girl here in the experience lane. Let's see if I'll really be able to stand as a fighter in our team. She made an obvious mistake there. There's nowhere for you to run. Nowhere. I guess I'll initiate killing Lapras. Oh, hi Freya. By the way, that's not how you kill those. Oh, you killed it. Way to go, Freya. Anyway, as you can see here, I also got some shield buff when our Clint killed the turtle. It's also part of the update where the allies of the turtle killer will have a one-time shield buff. The one-time shield buff means the ally's shield won't regenerate once it gets destroyed. What? I'm pretty sure I was about to dash away, but he flew right onto the enemy. That sucks. Shoot, Freya's gone and we're one man short. I hope she reconnects. Oh, you almost hit me, flower girl. There's nowhere for you to run. Nowhere you can hide. Yeah, what Kaja just said. You have slain an enemy. Witness the power of pure light. Initiate retreat. Good to see you, Rafaela. What? We all know that Gineverse Ultimate makes her immune to CC while it's activated. She may seem invincible, but one of the things that can surpass her immunity is the suppressed crowd control. As you can see here, Franco ended her ultimate. There are only three heroes who possess this kind of suppression skill. One is Franco's ultimate, second is Kaja's ultimate, and third is Barret's spell. Your team destroyed a turret! Shut down! An enemy has been slain! 
by the way, this is the build that I've used in this game. I built Clash of Destiny first for sustainability during a head-on clash. Next is the Calamity Reaper for its additional movement speed. That slight increase in movement speed can be used for repositioning, chasing an enemy, or getting away from them. I recommend building Feather of Heaven next because of its additional attack speed. A fast attack speed for Kaja is like an additional cooldown reduction for his passive. The last two items are defensive items and it depends on the enemies and the situation of the game. As for this game, I built Athena's shield first before the Feather of Heaven to avoid being bursted down by Ginevra. As for my emblem, I built additional movement speed and magic power with the Impure Rage talent. Good to see you, I got to green. My bad. I don't know if Kaja feels good or bad about dying. Demon, you shall not even have the opportunity to tremble. Ouch! Oh, Saber, don't! Seems her Saber messed up with the wrong lady. Demon, you shall not even have the opportunity to travel. You have slain an enemy! Shut down! Killing spree! Shut down! Good to see you, Rafaela. You got to stop taking those, Kaja. That's Franco, man. Their top lane is pressured. Now we'll stay here until someone tries to defend their top lane. Anyone will do, but it's a big advantage if we manage to kill their jungler. A few moments later. Wow, no one even dared to come here. That's unfortunate. Demon. There's nowhere for the enemies have been missing for quite some time now. We should get out of here. Oh, there they are. It's good to see you, Rafaela. By the way, Kaja's buff seems to be fine so far. One disadvantage that I don't like is the missing lightning eggs. Those eggs can slow and deal additional damage when enemies come into contact with it. We could have killed you back there if Kaja keeps laying those eggs whenever he dashes. Another disadvantage with his second skill is the short pause after dashing. That slight delay can still make room for enemies to retaliate or evade his ultimate. There's nowhere for you to run. Nowhere. Uh, I'm getting tired of all of this. Oh, come on. It's quite a shock that we're still ahead of the enemies, knowing that we're missing one of our teammates. The only reason we're still winning all this time is we don't fight the enemies head on. We're going for one enemy at a time and then retreat. Not even have the opportunity. Our turret is under attack. Our turret has been destroyed. An enemy has been slain. Unstoppable. Double kill. 
and we still managed to win that clash. Here's the last two. Our inhibitor turret is under attack. With their sword lightning. Great Demon, you shall not even have the opportunity to tremble. Mega kill. Wipe out. I think I have a good chemistry with this fake Kenzie guy here. It's like we're both in Korok zone. So we kill the Lord. Since it's going on top lane, I think I'll camp there. I hope I can burst someone who'll try to defend it. Demon. Where I go, the dog falls. It's good to see you, Raphael. Damn, I almost forgot that there are only 4 of us and we can't win if we try to fight them head on. One of us is dead and we should probably avoid getting killed. A single mistake could mean our defeat. Oh, they're on the Usaber, run! Demon, there's nowhere for you to run. And we managed to kill two of them instead. Their top lane is getting pushed. At least we're safe from any it's ambush right now. Go. The dawn falls. Seems like they got a careless Leela right here. them are occupied here on top lane. Now the enemies are trying to take the Lord. We'll certainly lose if they get a hold of it. It's already 18 minutes which means the Lord is already level 3. We got to stop them. I think this is the crucial clash. Well what do you know, they got the Lord but we won that clash. We'll leave the killing to them. As for us, we'll advance our minions here in the middle lane. I guess this is it. So what can you say about Kajra's major skill adjustment? Does he need more buff or is it enough? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. That's all for this video. Stay safe and thank you for watching. Nope, don't you dare even try it, flower girl.